Hi guys, welcome back to Mechanical Design Makers. In this video, we are going to see about basic terms and rules of engineering drawing. Let's look at the drawing. When you put dimension here, this is dimensional tolerance. We use extension line from actual part features. This one, this two, three and four is called future of part. So. Uh, it is a plane extended from future of part is called extension line there is a line with arrow at both end is called dimension line we may also use leader directly to the future of part will keep the dimension is called leader line reference dimension any dimension within parenthesis is called reference dimension it is used in drawing for information purpose only not for inspection and measurement purpose ted theoretical exact dimension any dimension put inside the rectangle is called theoretical exact dimension i will explain this in depth in later video in engineering drawing the millimeter is the common unit of measurement to invoke that the general note have to be specified in the drawing unless otherwise all dimensions are in millimeter some specific rules have to be followed in millimeter dimensioning the first one when the dimension is less than 1 millimeter zero is supposed to be here before the decimal point you cannot use this way this is the right way second one when the dimension is a whole number neither the decimal point nor a zero is shown that means you need not put decimal point or zero here. This is the wrong way. This is the right way. The next one, if it is upper and lower limit combined together, you are supposed to put zero here to align with upper limit. And this is the right way and this is the wrong way. So in ASME standard, the decimal point is used to separate the digit. In case of ISO GPS, Comma is used to separate the digit. So 0 0.25 in ASME drawing is equal to 0, 0.25 in ISO drawing. Both are same. While expressing theoretical exact dimension, there is no decimal point and 0 supposed to be here. This is the correct way and this is the wrong way. As I said earlier, we will see the theoretical exact dimension in later video. Engineering drawing is a formal and precise document. It should fully define the part and each specification dimension tolerance mentioned in the engineering drawing should be measurable. If it is not measurable, that is meaningless. And engineering drawing have a major impact on cost of part. And the last one is, please remember that engineering drawings are legal document and it have a copyright to corresponding company thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos we'll see you in next video